In this session, we will have an example on list comprehension. Let's take a matrix as an input and return a list with each row placed one after the other. So we are converting a matrix into a list. To understand list comprehension better, first we will write code using normal for loop and then we will write using list comprehension. Let's start with normal for loop flat matrix for input must be a matrix. Now we will define a list where we are going to store the final list for loop in matrix. So here in this for loop, we are reading each row. Now we need another nested for loop to get each and every element from given row for i in row. So now we have each element. Let's add it into our flat array. Flat dot append i. So now return flat. So let's prepare an output matrix equal to range. We'll take 5 by 5 matrix 0 to 5, comma range 5 to 10, comma range. 10 to 15. So now let's call this function and pass our input. When you run this, we got a flat list. So now let's apply using list comprehension. DF flat matrix using list comprehension. Matrix is our input flat or return x for row in matrix. We are going to use nested list comprehension. So, on top of this, we are going to apply another for x in row. So, this is a method using list comprehension apply same inputs on this new method so now we get the same result but notice that the simplicity we achieved the logic using one liner thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel